And now, Sports Live Friday night. Welcome to the penultimate edition of Sports Line Friday night before the new year. I'm Eric Moon. Cole Sams joins us in a moment. We begin tonight with the big news out of Pocatello. Less than two weeks after Charlie Regal stepped down, Idaho State has hired its next head football coach, Idaho native Cody Hawkins. The son of former Boise State and current UC Davis head coach Dan Hawkins, Cody was an assistant at UC Davis for the last six seasons, including the last three as offensive coordinator. Under his leadership as the OC, the Aggies averaged nearly 36 points per game. This year, UC Davis had the leading rusher and passer in the big sky, and the Aggies scored nearly 40 points per game. As a player, Hawkins was a perfect 40-0 at Bishop Kelly High School, and he set school records for passing yards and passing touchdowns at Colorado. Hawkins' introductory press conference will be on Sunday at 3 o'clock. Turning to the ice after an explosion of goals in the third period last night, the Spuds have won two of their last three, entering tonight's matchup against the Pueblo Bulls on Teddy Bear Toss Night. Bendy Fiore getting his, his crease ready on a Friday night, but on an early power play, the Bulls struck first. Watch this rush from Alex Sandin. He goes coast to coast, weaving inside and outside, and he picks the, go the corner glove side. A beautiful goal makes it one to nothing. Pueblo. The Spuds, though, outshot the Bulls in the opening frame. Here's a great chance from Sergey Yakinen, and he rings it off the post. We almost saw teddy bears flying onto the ice there. But later in the period, the sweet, cuddly mayhem commences because the price is right for Landon Wright. He makes it look easy with that tally. And here come the teddy bears, which flew out of the stands for a good minute, beginning what may be a great tradition at Hero Arena. The Bulls, though, take the victory 7-2. The final game of the weekend series is tomorrow at 7.05. Oh, a rematch of the 2A state championship between Bear Lake and Firth, but this time it was on the hardwood, and both teams were eager to build on some strong early season starts. Bryson Crane getting fitted for his state ring, but Firth was the team feeling it early. Kyle Jacobson launches it from deep and drills it from the top of the key, showing off the touch from the outside. The Bears with tremendous ball movement, leading to an easy finish at the basket by Crane. Brady Shaw gets the feed for the three, and nothing but net. And Tyler Beresford gets the pass in transition, but Alejandro Vasquez is there to make the block just in time. Great hustle by the senior guard. Crane being crafty in the paint with the Euro step plus the foul. And Rhett Louie would also get in on the fun with another Bear 3, leading Bear Lake to a 53-40 win over Firth. Shifting to girls basketball, it was a 5A 4A matchup at the Taj Grizz tonight between Madison and Skyline. We pick it up in the second, Grizz by six, but the Bobcats are making a comeback. Charlie Cook, the CSI commit, knocks it down from the corner, and Madison is within a bucket. At the other end, though, Shea Shippen finds Atana Ramirez, and there's a triple to restore the six-point lead. Then Madison scores again on some great passing here as Whitney McKenzie finishes the play inside. Bobcats would erase the deficit, but later in the quarter, Kaiser Shippen sinks a three to put Skyline back in front. And the Grizz pick up the win, 53-42. to 42. After an historic run last season, the Blackfoot Broncos have been slow out of the gates, getting off to a 1-6 start, while the Idaho Falls Tigers have taken off with a record of 5-2 and looking for another home win. The Tigers student section working up a sandstorm, and Lydia Keller would help build the excitement. The bank is open on Friday night. Esperanza Vergara showing off her range as well with the three of her own. And the Broncos are up big. Emma Vollmer with a great feed inside to Lily Duffin, who gets it to go with the left hand. But the Broncos would pull away in the third. Megan Evans buries the tray ball in the corner. And then Vergara with the dribble pull up, and cash. The senior guard kept lighting it up from deep. And to end the third, Sarah Hone throws a dime to a cutting Addison Tanner for the reverse right before the buzzer, leading Blackfoot to a 64-44 victory over Idaho Falls. In another 4A high country battle, the dungeon was the site for an all D93 matchup between the Bonville Bees and the Hillcrest Knights. 
Bombo dominated in the first quarter. Claire Herrickfeld passes to Alyssa Harris up top, and she hits on the jumper there. But Hillcrest hit its stride in the second quarter. The Knights is Brindley Prince intercepts the pass here. Lexi Kessler is there with the assist. She takes it up the court to Brooke Cook for the basket inside, making it a tie game. And Cook and Kessler showed off their teamwork more later on as they take the rebound down the court to Alexis Pickett. Nothing but net on this shot, giving the Knights a three-point lead. But the feeds Elisa Harris reaches far enough here to steal Nia Lugo's pass. Makes a straight shot to Ava Arfman. Nobody can catch her there. Still looking for a final score in this matchup. A good game between Bonneville and Hillcrest. Well, after the break, we'll show you more scores and our top plays of the week. You're watching Sportsline Friday night. You won't find a better deal on mattresses than at Hidden Treasures. We've got over 30 mattress sets starting at 388 and down on queen size sets and 488 and down on king size sets. Bring your trucks and bring your trailers and sleep on it tonight. Wackerly Auto Center has been your family-owned, professional-grade GMC dealer in Idaho Falls since 1958. They have a great selection of new Buicks, Cadillacs, and GMCs. And now's the time to buy with invoice pricing on all new Buicks while supplies last. Plus, get no payments. That's right, no payments on select Buicks and GMCs till 2023. And you can trust their certified service experts to help you get your vehicle ready for the winter. Wackerly Auto Center on North Holmes in Idaho Falls. Using a large online investment company for help with your lifetime of retirement savings doesn't always work well. Simplify your retirement by working with a local Connections Investment Services advisor. Working with us, you quickly reach an actual person when you call. Work with a company that knows you personally. Build a retirement plan that meets your goals, not a computer model. And give your loved ones a name, face, and location where they can go if something happens to you instead of a website or 800 number. Come find out why working with a local Connections Investment Services advisor makes sense. So from all of us here at Carpet One, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy New Year. And thank you for all your business this year. Have a news story or tip? Let us know at localnews8.com. Welcome back. Checking in with some boys hoop scores tonight. Century falls in Logan 68 to 47. And South Fremont scores its first win of the season in dominating fashion. 73 to 30 against Salmon. On home court, the Grace Grizzlies take down the Oakley Hornets with E 70-42. And Rockland blows out Wilder 61 to 14. You can see more of tonight's boys and girls basketball scores in the sports section on our website, localnews8.com, and in the app. In Rudy Gobert's return to Utah, the Timberwolves defeat the Jazz, winning 118 to 108. Gobert recorded a double-double with 22 points and 13 rebounds. And D'Angelo Russell led all players with 30 points for Minnesota. Malik Beasley, 23 points, case the Jazz. Utah takes on the Denver Nuggets tomorrow night on the road at 7 o'clock. Our top plays this week all have a common theme. They're all excellent dunks. At number three, we head to the pit. Pokey battling Valley View. And after a steal, it's Julian Bowie with a two-handed jam. Thunder have been perfect so far this season. We go to Rigby for number two. The Trojans' Noah Nunez finds Dallas Taylor on the reverse alley. Ooh, what a play and what a finish as Rigby took down the Mountain View last Saturday. What Normally, Normally, that would be our top play of the week, but at number one, you're going to want to see this from the Hillcrest Knights. An alley-oop off the glass to Isaac Davis on the money for the ferocious jam. And just like Rigby and Pokey so far this year, Hillcrest is still unbeaten. As a matter of fact, Cole, the Knights have not lost a game in over a calendar year since early last December, their first weekend of games last year in Utah. Really? Yeah. That, that is impressive. In, that is insane. And, uh, you know, I, not, not to say I don't love filming football, because I do. But <laughs> <laughs> I, after watching the Isaac Days, I, I, it is basketball season. It's I do miss that. Season. And then watching, you know, I love covering a lot of pokey sports, seeing Julian Bowie do his thing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm saying we blessed. We have some talent in this region. Oh, some really cool incredible talent for sure. Isaac Davis has a ton of offers from great schools. Julian Bowie, of course, the Boise State commit. They're going to be a lot of fun to watch this year for sure. That's all for us on this Friday night. For Cole Sands, I'm Eric Moon saying so long and have a great weekend. Good night.